36. I don't want trouble with you. 69, 70, stop looking at my ass. I wasn't looking at your ass. I know, no one ever does. A little thin for my taste, but nice. What are you going for, a swim? What do you care? You think I got a fat ass and I only swim because I float easily. I was just making conversation. I'm doing a three-way. A what? A triathlon. Sounds like you got way too much time on your hands. F you. You like a stay-at-home cheerleader, do you? Pathetic. You know what? F you, bitch. I'll beat you. Come on. I promise. <laughs> I bet you like to beat women. I wonder why your ass is single. Perfect beach start. I got this locked in. Come on! Shit, you need it. I really ain't dressed for this shit. Damn, that's cold. Disaster! I should have had an energy bar! Have you seen a dog anywhere? Yeah! It went down the beach, I think! Well, great, you won! Aren't you gonna gloat? Look, we both survived. These things are about taking part, not winning, right? No, it is always about winning! All right, I gotta keep going. I'm a loser. Fat, unmarried, career-driven loser! Hey, girl, you better chill the fuck out! Go to hell!
Hey, yo, what's going on? Our friend Poppy Mitchell has just been spotted in a high-speed chase with the cops. Like, like, right now, bro? Apparently she's wasted. Get after them. See if you can snag a shot of her getting busted. You gotta watch out, bro. I guess that's her. I guess that's her. How the fuck I get myself into this? photo. What can I say? A great journalism. Our little sex tape said sloppy poppy and a whole blown meltdown. That doesn't feel the other front lines, dude. Shit, it ain't exactly Iraq, man. And you know what? I might feel a little less degraded if I was fucking getting paid. Uh, all in good time. The truth comes first. I'll be in touch. Trevor Martin! 
You know, I've been thinking about it. I'm not quite sure if I'm ready to accept an apology. Where is my wife? Patricia doesn't want to speak to you. And frankly, neither do I. I will find you! Okay. Well, I'll put some coffee on then. I'll see you soon. They deported you. Why do you care? Well, I don't. Except that they paid me some money. That must feel good. What a proud patriot you are. So, when are they kicking you out? They can't kick me out, stupid man. Why not? My family has been here 200 years. I'm more American than you. Not that there's anything to boast about. Well, I'm sorry. Well, at least you got paid. You know, don't get all serious, okay? Anybody can make a mistake. Perhaps now you want to kill me. Yeah, maybe, old man. Maybe not. You and your civil border patrol friends. You're all the same. Ignorant fools trying to protect something that's not even there. They're not my friends. I spend enough time with them. Yeah, I spend a lot of time with fucking people I don't like, all right? It's one of my favorite hobbies. Civil border patrol, man. Fuck you! You want to fucking die? You don't scare me. You owe my family a great debt. What? Our land is no longer safe. It's not my fault. You're so concerned. Clean it up for me. Your choice. And no, I will not give you one cent. Last I heard, your civil border patrol friends were bullying some people east of here at the Sancudo farm. Go left on Ocean Highway, you'll see them. You... look fucked up. Hey, Joseph! Why don't you try that on me?
alert! We did it! Lester the molester, bro. We got ourselves some military hardware. It's parked out back in my office. All right. We might be ready to move on this thing. Meet me up in the lab. It's, it's, it's not inappropriate. It's, it's another one of your fucking disasters. That's what it is. First you take a hostage against my advice, and then you start some kind of crazy high school romance with her. Are you nuts? She's, she's a 60-year-old housewife. Wow, she's 57. And she thinks that I'm mature. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. 30 years of marriage to the world's angriest mob boss oh. would make anyone insane. You're not making my situation any easier. Oh, there's a surprise. I knew it would become about you. I miss my family. Oh, you're full of shit. All you ever did was ignore them, and now that they're gone, you miss them. Fucking incredible. I'll tell you what's incredible. Fucking incredible. Hey. You mother... Hey! What? No! You got me out here. You wrote me into your crazy world of bullshit. If it was lies, new age shit, and arguments about how good life used to be, I could have stayed my ass in Los Santos. Hello, Franklin. What's up? All right. Here's the shot. We're going to Palato Bay. We're going to do this thing. Any questions, comments? Yeah. I miss Brad. If that crazy motherfucker was with us now, he would have loved this. Instead, he's got to enjoy himself molesting white-collar criminals in a federal penitentiary. Thanks for sharing. Anybody else? What about me? You'll be waiting for them by the river, handling the getaway. All right. Now, these three go in, you grab the tape, you rendezvous with you, and you get out of there. Is that a uh, work for everyone? Great, let's go. Polito Bay, let's hit this shit. You ever hit a bank before, Franklin? Yeah, I was the driver on the job my boy Lamar pulled. Guess it's the same kind of shit we doing now, right? Nice, bro. What was the take? Shit, I don't know, man. I can't remember. Come on. Everyone remembers their first score. Ah, uh, shit, not me. Huh? Mikey, bro, what was your first bank score? 88, outskirts of Carcer City. Took a small franchise for 10G. Yeah, things were easy. Man. Careful, eh? Yeah, 25 years ago. Jesus! Chef, will you tell these gentlemen about your first job? T, man. You could just as easily. You tell them. I'll do a sanity check. Trevor, the ultimate judge of sanity. Well, it was uh, part of the interview process, I guess is how you'd call it. Trevor knew I could cook, wanted to see if I could handle myself. This cash for gold guy comes through town. The reason he had funds. Next thing we're burying him and his bodyguard in the junkyard. Well, most of them anyhow. 50k. He did fine. He's better at all aspects of the job now, from killing to dismemberment. Then your turn to share, kid. I told you I don't remember the details, man. Leave him alone, Trevor. This is an important moment, Michael. Here we are, on our way to almost certain death. Bonding, pouring our hearts out, and this guy is sitting here soaking it up and giving nothing in return. Hey, if he don't remember. Hey! Oh! If he don't remember. If he don't remember, I'm supposed to trust this man with my life. 
and he don't trust me with the details of his first bank job? Well, how about you? Why don't you share with the group? I'm here. I'll back the facts. The check's cash place? I went in, took him for eight grand, walked out. Yeah. <laughs> it was a bit more complicated than that, though, wasn't it, T? Maybe I knew the guy. Maybe he ID'd me. Maybe you did six months. Maybe I was out in four, and that, children, is why we don't leave witnesses. That, children, is why you don't rob people that you know. <laughs> yeah. Franklin, share? Yeah, come on, kid. It can't be worse than Trevor's. All right, man, shit. Okay, the score was like two stacks, man. 2G, take home on your first gig? Fuck, that ain't bad, man. Man, the whole score was two stacks. Only I didn't see none of that shit. Dive pack went off, homie. Money was useless, dude. Little miscalculation there. Dive pack. <laughs> <laughs> you amateur. I knew I shouldn't have told you shit. Hey, Franklin, we all gotta start somewhere. Last time I tell your ass something. Ow, oh, come on. <laughs> Don't be so cold, man. Learn to laugh at yourself. All right, Frank. We're gonna drop you up here, okay? When you hear it kick off, get ready. We're gonna wanna go ASAP. I'm gonna get away, man. I'll do it. All right, you know where you gotta be? I got it down. I'll bring a die pack just for you. We ready for this? I could use a restroom break. And risk getting ID'd. You're an idiot. I gotta go. It's number two. Y'all ready? Let's go! Is this happening? We want a few minutes of your time. Do it. Get down! Today's going one of two ways, friends. Everyone on the floor, now. You and you, out from behind the counter. That's it, hands in the air. M, keep an eye on our trusted employee. Okay, you got the crowd. Cops should be here soon, so keep an eye out. I think the door is ready. Get over here and kick it in, M. Stay down. If I ever meet this alarm guy, I'm gonna fucking shoot him. Not if I get to him first. Yeah. Stay back! We got hostages! Shit. Tell the sheriff the 211 is confirmed. We're gonna need everything we got down here. <laughs> Sheriff's here. We never could have beaten that response. There's other ways of beating it. Move it! Call up procedure! I don't care if they surrender. I'm killing me some bad guys. Now let the hostages go, and uh, we'll talk like gentlemen. Time to face the music. <laughs> Sweet mother of shit. Too heavy! You wanna play dead? We won't 
be playing! Hey, hey! Through here! Right along! Friendly, Agent Sanchez. Our very own corrupt G-Man in training. You gotta be careful, buddy, all right? Because they are uh, looking around these trains for illegals. And if you're mistaken, you'll be shot, amigo. Very amusing. Yeah, if you're expecting them two to bring you up, you're gonna be disappointed, homie. Right back at you. Got the money? Everything we got. Okay, here's your cut. Considering present scrutiny on public worker remuneration, this is a big win. Oh, yeah. That's a huge fucking win. Woo! Monsters. 
I'm out. Agent Haynes will get in touch with you once operations save the world to go. Get your crew together, okay? Fucking punk. All right. We should probably split up. They're gonna be looking for a three. Oh, the blood we spill for the security of this country. Come on, Franklin. Man, I'll holler at you, home. Right. Come on. Seatbelt. Serious. Welcome back to Los Santos, Michael. I'm sorry you won't be alive long enough to enjoy it here. Hey. There's that smell. Trevor about? He's probably out somewhere drinking human blood or eating household pets. <laughs> He's not that bad. Really? Well, okay, he is pretty bad. But he's got a sensitive side. Oh, yes, he's very sensitive. When he gets his feelings hurt, he's devastated. So what's your story? I ain't got a story. I'm an independent thinker. Living out here, away from the man. From what I can tell, you're like a high school athlete. Living off old glories. You used to be able to manage heat. And now, you're worried if your loafers are getting scuffed. Any more bullshit comes out of your mouth, you're gonna learn all about my past glories firsthand. You understand? <laughs> Absolutely, sir. That came out wrong, all wrong. Tell Trevor the monthly train is coming through. What monthly train? The monthly train. Where have you two been? Getting some fresh air. Talking of beautiful things. Yes, I hear Stockholm Syndrome is very nice this time of year. Oh, hey, watch your mouth, boy, all right? It's always been a dream of ours. The train of dreams. The hell are you talking about? I'm talking about gold. Enough to keep Ron in trailers and you in therapy. Enough so that we can pay off that Mexican and get you back in town, oh. baby! Yeah! Oh, this better be <laughs> fucking good! Oh. <coughs> oh, Jesus. Fuck. Ah! Oh. Man, we've talked about this hygiene thing before, bro. I invite you into my home, this is how you repay me? It's like living with a fucking horny skunk. Be under Rat Canyon Bridge in a boat. We'll stay in touch on the headsets. Make it a fast boat! Ah, uh, the logistical mind of Trevor Phillips. So it's like gold bricks on board, right? Sometimes. This is a high-value courier service run by a <laughs> Merryweather. Oh, Merryweather? Tranquilo, Mike! This ain't a weapons train. It's goods too valuable to insure for air travel train. Gold. Sometimes gold, sometimes artwork, priceless antiquities. Sometimes enough for you, me, Ron, everyone. Fine.
And here she is, the magical train. Mike, oh yeah, another thing for your shopping list. We'll need some bombs. Okay, I'll pick them up when I'm back at the trailer. Back at the trailer? Where are you? We got work to do. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why I'm getting changed. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. getting changed? What if? What have you turned into? Conductor on this train? You on the water? Sure, just caught a fish. Let me know when you need me. Got it? Eat it? Be under that fucking bridge. When we go past Polito Station, whole of Merriweather's gonna be on to us. Recovery teams arrived! Get in, let's 
Let's go! Down river! Vamino! They got the boat after us! Nature, you're right. It's a beautiful thing. You change clothes. You couldn't have done this without that weird vest thing. We got a buzzard on our tail. You feeling alive? Juice pumping through through your glands. My glands are just fine. Without the crashing train, exploding helicopters, and sinking boats. There's somewhere we can pull up just down the coast. Whoa! Man, you work hard for your living. Boil it down for me. How much you think you make for a senseless killing, huh? Couple nickels? Times are tough. Have been since we put you in the ground. Transport's taken care of. Ron's dependable, you see. Oh, his and hers, huh? Because of your independent spirit. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, before you go, show me the loot. I... It's perfect. Perfect for fucking what? For squaring things with that Mexican psycho. We give him this, and you end your relationship with that little lady. Maybe we won't be dead men in Los Santos. I don't fucking see that Silicon City again. It'll be too soon. But this is... My job, not your call to make. No, nah, no, nah, your job, fuck things up with the Mexican to begin with. My job, my score, get your own! Wait, you give me that case, I'll give you something bigger. Oh. What? Union Depository. Fuck off. Can't be done. I never said impossible. Just very difficult. Virgin suicidal? That a line you're afraid to cross? Come on, T. You remember the dreams? A couple kids pulling jobs, the big one. I know it sounded crazy back then, huh? But hey, you and me together again. With Lester and Franklin on board. We can do this thing, T. This ain't no dream no more. Yeah. You keep the case. Fuck me. Okay, hey! All right. Here. Keep that silly fucking thing. And you can keep Patricia as well, all right? Because I respect that lady and I ain't gonna hold her back. <sighs> Thank you. Just remember, I'm gonna be keeping my eye on you every inch of the way, all right? Of course. And if that bastard fucking cheats on her one more time, mm, I don't know what I'm gonna do. You know, Trevor, we both know you're not the marrying guy. But hey, it's great to be back in business, huh? Let's bring it on. The big one! The big one!